स्टूडेंट्स टू क्लास थ्री चैप्टर फोर मल्टीप्लीकेशन इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द फॉलोइंग टॉपिक्स मल्टीप्लीकेशन फैक्ट्स हाउ टू मल्टीप्लाई थ्री डिजिट नंबर हाउ टू री क्रूप फाइल मल्टीप्लाइंग सम एग्जाम्पल्स मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ टू डिजिट नंबर्स वर्ड प्रॉब्लम एंड इन द लास्ट आई प्रोवाइड यू अ वर्कशीट टू प्रैक्टिस अपॉन लेट्स स्टार्ट द चैप्टर बाय लर्निंग सम मल्टीप्लीकेशन फैक्ट्स फर्स्ट फैक्ट इज नंबर्स कैन बी मल्टीप्लाइड इन एनी ऑर्डर द प्रोडक्ट विल रिमेन द सेम फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेदर वी डू फोर इन टू नाइन or we change the order of numbers to 9 into 4 the product will remain the same that is 36 second fact is when a number is multiplied by 1 the product is the number itself for example 4 into 1 equals to 4 or we can take any example like 69 into 1 will also be equal to 69 third fact is when a number is multiplied by 0 the product is always 0 for example 4 into 0 equals to 0 or we can take any other example like 90 into 0 would also be 0 let's revise these multiplication facts through some exercise 11 into 0 equals to 0 because we know when a number is multiplied by 0 the product is always 0 next is 5 into 1 equals to 5 because when a number is multiplied by 1 the product is the number itself dash into 8 equals to 0 answer is 0 because we know when a number is multiplied by 0 the product is always 0 next is 11 into dash equals to 11 answer is 1 because when a number is multiplied by 1 the product is the number itself next is 7 into 6 equals to 6 into 7 numbers can be multiplied in any order the product will remain the same 67 into dash equals to 0 Answer is zero because when a number is multiplied by zero, the product is zero. Now let's do multiplication of three-digit numbers. Example is to multiply one hundred and twenty-three by three. Let's first write the numbers in column form. We'll start multiplying the digits at ones place. So three into three equals to nine. Moving forward, we'll multiply the digit in the tens place. So three into two equals to six. Similarly, we'll multiply the digit at hundreds place. Three into one equals to three. So our answer is three six nine. Now. Let's learn multiplication with regrouping at ones place. Students, it's a very important topic, so please listen carefully. Question is to find the product of 214 and 3. First, we'll write the numbers in column form. Then multiply the digit in ones place. 4 into 3 equals to 12. We will follow the same procedure as we did in addition. We will regroup twelve into one tens and two ones. We write two at ones place and one act as a carry to tens place. Now multiply three with the digit at tens place. So three into one equals to three. There is also a carry. Which should be added to the result and not multiplied. So, three plus one, which is the carry, equals to four. So we'll write four at tens place. Moving forward, 
will multiply the digit at 100's place. So 3 into 2 equals to 6. So our answer comes out to be 642. Now let's understand multiplication with regrouping at 100's place. Question is to find the product of 576 and 4. First, write the numbers in column form, then start multiplying the digit at 1's place. So, 4 into 6 gives us 24. As discussed in the last example, we'll regroup 24 and write 4 at 1's place and 2 act as a carry to 10's place. Now, moving towards digits at 10's place, 4 into 7 equals to 28, but we'll also add the carry, which is 2. So, 28 plus 2 gives us 30. Again, we will regroup 30 and write 0 at 10's place, and 3 act as a carry to 100's place. Now multiply the digit at 100's place, which is 5 into 4, which gives us 20, plus 3 carry equals to 23. So we'll write 3 at 100's place and 2 act as a carry to 1000's place. We have nothing to multiply at 1000's place, therefore carry becomes the 1000's place in the answer. Our answer comes out to be 2304. Students, let's understand the multiplication by 10. It will be useful for the multiplication of two digit numbers in our upcoming topics. 1 into 10 equals to 10, 2 into 10 equals to 20, 3 into 10 equals to 30, 4 into 10 equals to 40. Similarly, 12 into 10 equals to 120. So students, did you notice that to multiply by 10, we are simply writing a 0 to the right of the number being multiplied. Students, let's see the multiplication by 20, 30, 40 and so on. In the following examples, We'll see the multiplication with 20. Rest of the multiplication with 30, 40 and so on follows the same rule. 1 into 20 equals to 20. 2 into 20 equals to 40. 3 into 20 equals to 60. 4 into 20 equals to 80. Similarly, 12 into 20 equals to 240. As we can see in these examples, we are simply writing a 0 at 1's place and multiplying the remaining numbers like 2 into 2, 3 into 2, 4 into 2 to get the answers. Now students, let's understand multiplication of two digit numbers. It's a very important topic, so please listen carefully. We have to find the product of 28 and 57. First, write the numbers in column form. Multiply the digits at 1's place. So 7 into 8 equals to 56. We will regroup 56 and write 6 at 1's place and 5 act as a carry to 10's place. Now multiply at 10's place. 7 into 2 equals to 14. Now don't forget to add the carry which is 5. So 14 plus 5 gives us 19. Since there is no hundreds place, we'll write 19 as it is. Now let's move to the second digit which is 5 at tens place or 50. As I told you while multiplying by 20, we simply write a 0 at 1's place and multiply the remaining numbers. So here we'll put the 0 at 1's place and multiply the number 28 with 5. You can put a cross 
at one's place instead of zero for the presentation purpose. Now multiply 5 with 8 which gives us 40. We will regroup 40 and write 0 at tens place and 4 act as a carry. Students make sure to circle this carry to distinguish it from the first carry. Now we will multiply 5 with 2 which gives us 10. Add the carry 4 to it so 10 plus 4 becomes 14. We will regroup 14 into 100 and 4 tens. Since we have nothing to multiply thousands place, the carry becomes the thousands place and we will write 14. Now add the products. 6 plus cross equals to 6. 9 plus 0 equals to 9. 1 plus 4 equals to 5 and 1 as it is at thousands place. So our answer is 1596. Now students, let's see how to solve word problems related to multiplication. Question is, there are 84 balloons in a packet. How many balloons will there be in 48 such packets? Let's write the statements about things given in the question. Number of balloons in each packet is 84. Number of packets are 48. Therefore, number of balloons will be 84 into 48. So let's multiply these two numbers. 84 into 48 start multiplying the digits at one's place so 8 into 4 gives us 32 so we write 2 at one's place and 3 act as a carry now we'll multiply 8 with 8 which gives us 64 we will add 3 carry to it so 64 plus 3 gives us 67 moving forward we'll multiply 4 with 4 which gives us 16. So we write 6 at tens place and 1 act as a carry. Now multiply 8 with 4 which gives us 32. And don't forget to add the carry which is 1. So 32 plus 1 becomes 33. Now we got products from both the numbers. So next step is to add the products. 2 plus cross gives us 2. 7 plus 6 is 13, 1 becomes a carry. So 6 plus 3 plus 1 gives us 10, 3 plus 1 which is a carry gives us 4. So our answer is 4032 balloons. In the last we should write the answer statement and the answer statement is there will be 4032 balloons in 48 packets. Students, in the end, I am giving you a worksheet for practice. You will find the answers to worksheet number 4 in my next video. First question is, write in columns and multiply 580 with 5. Second question is, write in columns and find the product of 34 and 99. On the day of Onam, 225 boats took part in a boat race. There were 8 children in each boat. So how many children took part in the boat race? Next question is, a bus that can seat 76 people makes 13 trips a day. If the bus is full on all of its 13 trips, how many people travelled by the bus? Last question is, mother purchased 3 kg onion at the price of rupees 35 per kg and 5 kg potato at the price of rupees 45 per kg. So how much money mother gave to the shopkeeper? 
students thanks for watching if you like this video make sure to subscribe for more and do press the bell icon to receive the notification for my next video thank you bye bye